Please be advised that this video is for the sole purpose of entertainment. Any views of purely my own are subjective and may not necessarily be true. I do, however, do extensive research for all of my videos. All photos have been found on the public domain. I am using them under the Fair Use and Fair Dealing guidelines. I urge everybody to do their own research. Well, hello, it's Murky Meg here. I'd just like to say before I start, thank you so much for everybody for your well wishes. Um, I'm taking a little break from Twitter at the moment. If you haven't noticed, I've deactivated my account. It is a very big distraction for me and takes up quite a lot of my time. So I've just deactivated it. I have lots on my plates and I'm spinning everywhere. My sister, unfortunately, is, is quite poorly. She is slightly on the mend, but with this thing, you don't, you can't take any chances. So yeah, that's, if you can't find me on Twitter, that's why I will be back, I promise. But I just need to focus at the moment on family and getting a few videos out. And that's purely why I deactivated. Again, thank you everybody so much for your well wishes, your thoughts, your prayers. I find it touching that everybody that has reached out so thank you so on with today's video it's thursday the 2nd of april and while i've been away quite a lot has happened first thing that happened was the instagram sussex royal ended with their final goodbye post now this isn't the first time that a farewell post has been made by markle she did one with regards to the TIG, and that was in April 2017. This one was done at the end of March 2020, so that in a space of a short three years, two goodbye posts were put up on either Instagram or a website, which was her TIG blog, to say goodbye. A little bit of a pattern forming here, isn't there? Doesn't seem like she can stick to anything. My main problem with this particular goodbye post is that again it is focusing the media on them when at the moment we could do with not hearing from them there's a lot going on in the world and it seems like they are just trying to grab the headlines now i'm trying to be devil's advocate here like i always try and do they had every right to say goodbye but by turning off their comments on every single post that they have ever put on their instagram account gets the media attention but it also highlights something intriguing. Why did they turn off all the comments? They've all disappeared. Every single comment that was ever made on their Sussex Royal Instagram account has disappeared and you can't comment on anything. I have a theory about this and I think it is them going forward and proving how much their brand is worth. It's got 11.3 million followers. It will have a sway with investors and people that want to pay them to post. Now, if it's got a ton of negative comments, and let's face it, the last couple of weeks, all there was was negative comments. You waded through every single post and you had to really hunt for those positive ones. It was just negative comment after negative comment after negative comment. That doesn't look well for future investors, does it? If you are selling a brand, which is what they are going to be doing, be it under a different name, you don't want those investors and money people looking into the background and looking at all the negative comments. So the simple way to erase that is just to delete them all. Nobody then has an idea of exactly how hated they are. Then this raises a very good question. If all those comments have been deleted, they must know how hated they are. Have they got blinkers on completely and they just think, oh, they're haters. Oh, they don't like our sunshine. They don't, they can't stand that where we are and what we're going to do. We are powerful. Or do you think it's actually hitting home that they're not really that liked apart from the little sect of vermin that follow them around that we call sugars now i've subsequently learned that you can't just move followers from one account to the other instagram won't like it however you ask whoever is asking they will not move followers yes they used to do that a couple of years ago if somebody opened a new account they'd just simply move the followers from one account to the other but they no longer do it they are now telling users to simply put a note on their old account instructing followers to follow them at their new account unfortunately it seems that harry and megan are not taking no for an answer with regards to instagram instagram has confirmed that we were contracted by their representative asking us to make an exception in their case their argument was that this was an exceptional couple in an exceptional circumstance and that it would be to instagram's benefit to do this how deluded can you get if this isn't a prime example of grandiose 
of self-importance. I don't know what is. To think that you are above anybody else and that everybody has to comply with your wishes is extremely self-centred and egotistical. Now, Sussex Royal set up their Instagram account on the 2nd of April 2019, exactly a year ago today. They have built up a following of 11.3 million followers. It wouldn't be that hard to scrap it and start again. If followers then jump to the new account, then so be it. Then that would be a good indication of who truly wants to follow you. But here lies the problem is that there has been rumours aghast that they have brought followers. Rumours are also the same with Kensington Palace as well. I think any major celebrity has at some point considered buying followers, but it's been rumoured that there is a lot on the Sussex Royal Instagram account. You only have to look at their following to their like ratio and the amount of positive comments to negative comments to actually understand that this could be very feasible. And a lot of people say that they have brought their followers or used a bot farm with the amount of just replies with one or two or three emojis. That's the indication of a bot. And there lies the problem, doesn't it? If you've brought a considerable amount of followers or bots on your Instagram account, you're going to have to do it again on a brand new account to get the true indication that you want to perceive. They want that 11.3 million again and it's not a true indication of who follows them but you've brought them you're going to have to duplicate that cost again aren't you and I don't think cost is king at the moment with regards to these two because quite frankly their revenue has been slashed because I believe that they wanted to make their mark and kick their fortune up a notch by doing speeches it's been rumored that they've done a couple already but with everything that's going on in the world Banks will be tightening their belts and so will people. So nobody's going to want to invest in them as yet without looking at what the global economy will be like after everything that's going on at the moment. Everybody is in financial difficulty. So nobody's going to have any ready cash to pump in to a foundation or directly to Harry and Meghan as a fee for speeches. Nobody's doing that at the moment because social gatherings is just literally illegal. So they can't do that. So their revenue has been dramatically slashed and depleted. Their brand is taking a hammering because of what they're doing. The media and their PR team are at war because you get the amount of puff pieces that are coming out at the moment is ridiculous. So I don't think Harry and Meghan are quite as cash rich as everybody thinks they are. My question to you is, do you think Instagram will allow them to move their followers from Sussex Royal to their new Instagram account when it is created? They say that they're going to spend time with family. Well, that's just the three of them really, isn't it? Because they can't really go from house to house. You can't because you're in lockdown, unless Doria is living with them. I don't know, I don't think she is. Do you think Instagram will do it? And do you think that is right if they do it? There's an issue that I have with this final post and it really is grating on me at the moment. Over the past two weeks, they've made it very clear that they wanted to shift the focus of their Instagram account onto giving people the right news about the pandemic that's going on. They wanted, in their words, to share information and resources to help all of us navigate the uncertainty from posting accurate information and facts from trusted experts to learning about measures we can take to keep ourselves and our families healthy, to working with organisations that can support our mental and emotional well-being. That was only on the 18th of March, and then just over a week and a bit later, they completely shut the thing down. This, to me, seems extremely at odds with what they had planned to do, with what they did. Why would you post something on Instagram like that, paving the way of what they want to do on their Instagram? only a week and a half later to shut it down completely. It makes no sense to me, which makes me think that they have been forced to shut it down. You don't make a post like that a couple of weeks prior and then completely pull it. Their focus was very much square on what they can do to help society in their own way. And I picked it apart. I did because I thought it was ludicrous that two people could be holed up in their whichever mansion that they're in in LA and just simply think that they can change the world through Instagram. It's not that simple. So why pull the plug if you've got this path that you want to take? 
because it was taken away from them. And that's my honest thoughts. There is a very interesting article that the Daily Mail released, which said that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have delayed plans to launch a charity and rebrand as celebrities because the timing is inappropriate and they wouldn't get the column inches. What? They've delayed it so they get more column inches. At the moment, they would be drowned in what's going on. So they wouldn't get the focus. So they're simply just delaying it until it's all over. Well, that's okay then, because the world's going to be nice and rosy when it's over, isn't it? No, it's not. The window of opportunity is extremely small since stopping posting on Instagram. If they delay it, they won't capture as much interest they will be yesterday's chip papers. The way that I'm reading this, and I'm quite good at deciphering behind what people actually mean, is that I think that they thought more people would be calling, and they're not. So they just think, well, I tell you what, we'll just delay it until all this is over, and then we'll be stars again. What interests me in that headline is the whole changing to celebrities. So there lies their focus. We knew it, it was obvious the writing was on the wall from the very first day. Meghan wanted celebrity over royal and this is their way forward. I find it highly unlikely that after all this is done and dusted that people will be tripping over themselves to give them money to buy their products. Whatever they're touting, I don't think people are going to be buying it because the economy will crash or it will be extremely unstable and people won't have the ready cash. If they wanted to be visible during this whole thing, what they could have done is done something that means something. To build on the community that they left. To make amends. To donate. To donate their time. But they didn't, did they? They just thought, sod it, close the account, off we pop. We'll pop back when it all calms down. We'll just raise our head up above the surface and to see if the sun is shining again, shall we? And then it will all be about us again. It's not going to work because, as I've said, you've got a very short window of opportunity in making sure that you take every single opportunity that throws and build with it. They're not going to be doing that because they're hiding out. And the fact that they're more concerned about column inches than people shows you exactly where their loyalties lie and the type of people that they have now become. I would love to know your thoughts on why they did the farewell. Do you think it had the similar resemblance to the Tig farewell? What about this short distance, almost exactly three years between the Tig closing and Sussex Royal closing? Why have they turned off comments? Do you think it's to do with future investors looking at how unliked they are? Do you think Instagram should bend their rules for Harry and Meghan and migrate the followers from Sussex Royal to their new account? Do you think they were forced to shut with the complete turnaround of what they wanted to do with Instagram and suddenly making their final post? And what do you think about them going underground until this is all over and then they can strike and build their empire whatever empire they are building. I don't think it's going to be exactly as they planned. The world will be different after this. And I don't think they're actually expecting anything to change because they don't know what the real world is like. As always, let me know your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, and also that like button. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of my followers for all the tips and all the emails, DMs that everybody sends to me, it really is greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for watching once again.